Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel Shells Hearts Art and today I'll be doing a sew and tell video on one of my recent makes. So today I'll be talking about the lander pants. And if you follow me on Instagram, Shells Hearts Art, um, you probably saw that I did complete the lander pants recently and I have the pattern right here. It is designed by True Bias Patterns and it's basically a short and a pants pattern. So that's it right there and it's a very popular pattern. You've probably already seen a few people, actually tons of people sew this pattern up already. Um, yeah, but I definitely have, um, I've been eyeing it for a while and thought why not go ahead and sew it up. So it's a pants pattern. It features pockets in the front and pockets on the back and it has a button detail. But you can also change the buttons out for a zipper extension, I think. Um, yeah, I think you can do that as well. Overall, I am pleased with the look of my pants. I have the pants here I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Um, just want to talk about it a little more. I did... I will be talking about some of the issues I had with the pattern and I don't blame the pattern at all more so me um, you know it was my very first pair of fit like sophisticated type of pants because I have sewn pants before it's just I've never sewn pants like this so it was a little challenging for me you know so I was extra cautious with the details so let's get into it um fabric wise I used a chambray fabric and I got this fabric from Cali Fabrics and I'll link the video below where I talk about um, my fabric haul from Cali Fabrics. This is one of the um, fabrics, but yeah. It's a chambray, it's a little stiff. I originally intended, um, sorry, my dog moved the camera. Let me fix it. <laughs> okay. okay. So I originally intended to use this fabric for a pair of Vogue shorts um, using a Vogue pattern, but I thought why not go ahead and use it since I have the fabric sitting around so I used it for the lander pants so yeah overall I like how the fabric works for the pants um the lander pants they really don't require any stretch so the chambray um it wasn't a problem only thing I would say is that it does wrinkle very easily and it takes a lot of effort to iron it out but overall I'm still pleased with the look of the chambray um so let's talk about other things I will say um pattern wise some issues I had with the pattern overall the process went very smoothly up until the part of inserting the waistband um, prior to inserting the waistband you're instructed to put the belt loops on the pants now I measured it out um, as instructed but for some reason my belt loops came out shorter I realized this after attempting to do the waistband twice because when I did the waistband I actually had to cut out two pieces of fabric and sew them together because I didn't have enough so I had went through all of that with the waistband and then finally got that my belt loops were too short honestly I got frustrated and I, I kind of got to the point where I was you know if I don't finish these pants now they'll never get finished so I went ahead and just kept going so yeah the belt loops are a little shorter than usual but I told myself I can always make them again this is just a learning process for me and I still I still think the pants are wearable so I definitely get some wear out of them um, and I'll just wear a smaller belt so yeah so let me show you guys what I'm talking about let me show a good one like right here if you can get a good look right there you can see it doesn't go all the way to the tip of the pants <laughs> the top of the pants so yeah I just ended up wearing a little belt with it I was like you know what it is what it is I'm still pleased you know everything can't be perfect the learning process so yeah aside from that that was one of the issues I will say also sizing was an issue prior to starting the um, starting the construction of the pattern the garment I realized that um, my the waist and hip measurements weren't quite they didn't quite match up I didn't match one size it was like my hips would put me in this area my waist would put me in this area so I didn't really know where to go I ended up going by the finished measurements whichever was closest now completing the garment I do think that with these lander pants I would have been better off just going with a smaller size so I'll probably sew this up again um, a size or two smaller I think I don't think there's any harm in it because they fit pretty loose on me so I need to wear a belt with them um, but aside from that I'm still pleased with the pattern that was really all of the issues also um I actually chose to do view B and as you can see view B is the like I think it's more like the culotte version however on me they fit like regular pants like they went all the way past my ankle so you know I'm a little short I'm 5'2 by the way a little under 5'2 so if that helps anybody out there with picking the the pants the view they want to sew up maybe it'll help you so yeah they ended up fitting like long like regular length pants on me now I actually was pleased with that because halfway through sewing my pants I was like you know I wish I would have sewn. I wish I would have um, sewn the pants that went past my ankles and they came out being past my ankles anyway yeah uh, overall I'm pleased with the pattern I just say I made a few mistakes um, regarding the waistband and the 
um, belt loops. So next time I sell these, I'll have to put new belt loops. Um, next time I sell this pattern up, I'll have to just make the belt loops longer. I actually made the belt loops as long as they instructed. I don't know, maybe when I was attaching the waistband to the pants, I may have did a larger seam allowance than necessary. Who knows, but overall, I'm still pleased recommend the pattern i think it's a great pattern to start off with if you're trying to get into the world of pants like it's right before you start entering the world of sewing jeans you know so yeah i think this is a great pattern to um practice with i see myself sewing this up again and i do want to sew it up again just so i can correct the errors i made with this pants with these pants i can correct the errors i made and just you know make another pair but yeah i see myself wearing these either way they're pretty wrinkled i need to iron it it's it's very hard to wrinkle. I mean, it's very hard to iron out the wrinkles, but it's definitely doable. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me, follow me on my social media, Instagram, Shell's Hearts Art. Again, thank you. Bye-bye and have a nice day.